Hi there. Today we're going to talk about the Carry Forward feature, whatever you want to call it, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which was sort of teased, and I'm just going to read through this article and explain to you how it works. If you don't know, Activision is teasing Modern Warfare 3, and have sort of technically revealed it as being the sequel to Modern Warfare 2, the new one, right? Now, of course, is it really a sequel or is it a glorified expansion pack? I'm going to say it's a glorified expansion pack that was designed originally as that expansion pack and then decided, hey, we need money. We're going to package it as a $70 release. So, of course, the main thing was that it was going to be sort of an expansion pack with new weapons, operators, and a new map, right? Well, new maps, as in all the Modern Warfare 2 maps that... We would have expected to see in the new Modern Warfare 2, but we didn't get because they're holding them over for Modern Warfare 3. But they're talking about this carry forward thing as a feature. Essentially what it means is this, right? Everything for the most part that you have in Modern Warfare 2, you'll be able to use immediately in Modern Warfare 3. This is any leveled up weapons, operator skins, most vehicle skins, calling cards, whatever. Which sort of goes to show that it is in fact sort of an expansion pack. It's going to be mostly the same game of course now the main difference is one there's going to be a new campaign maybe developed by infinity ward maybe not maybe on the same scale maybe not i hope so i mean they're teasing makarov as like the big villain and you know i do remember reading uh rumors and leaks about the fact that modern warfare 2 was actually going to be the final modern warfare game in this new reboot franchise but you know what happened Activision or somebody, they retooled it and it didn't really end on a totally done note, right? It didn't conclude everything. And honestly, having two games to conclude it wouldn't be the right thing. I would want a third one or an expansion pack. So let's look at this article, right? You can see Ghost, MW2, Price, MW3. This is probably going to be the new key art or whatever. Guy with gun, Makarov in the back. It's red instead of green, so that's going to be cool, right? Blue, green, red, sort of the main three colors. I mean, Modern Warfare 2019, you could consider it to be white, but I consider it to be, you know, that. Anyways, let's continue. So, let me zoom in here. With the official worldwide reveal of Modern Warfare 3 now only days away, what does that mean? Also, I can open up Modern Warfare 2 and show you. Shadow Siege, Almazra, don't miss the worldwide reveal. Uh, interesting thing, new font. You look over here, different font. Look over here, new font. So it seems that they've done some updating in client already. This is probably going to be the new font. This also might be the new, I don't know if it's just key art or whatever because it's similar. There's also a now a thing in the HUD saying MW3 reveal event begins in seven days because now they're finally showing it as Call of Duty HQ. Uh, off topic, of course, Call of Duty HQ is what they're calling the game, right? And I'm even going to open up Steam here to show you guys. It says Call of Duty. It doesn't say Modern Warfare 2 anymore. Modern Warfare 2 should be a separate transaction. Yeah, Call of Duty goes Legacy Pack, MW2. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and Warzone are separate. Was Warzone 2.0. They sort of changed everything, changed the logo, whatever, right? Also, super stretched out logo, which I thought was pretty funny. Anyways, back to the game. So... With the official worldwide reveal of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 now only days away, comms have now officially activated, and for the first time in Call of Duty's history, a vast amount of content from a previous Modern Warfare game will transfer or quote-unquote carry forward and be available in the next Modern Warfare title. The content delivery is incredible. As an example, expect your available arsenal to combine weapons from both Modern Warfare titles. Whatever, dude. All right, we get the point, right? You can use the MW2 guns and MW3. It's about it, but I want to read it, try to explain it. Others sort of marketing it as a brand new feature when, but in my opinion, it's basically just MW3 is going to be an expansion pack, same engine, same whatever. I mean, it's running on the same client. All Call of Duty games are going to be running on this client that says Call of Duty HQ. You can't see it in the corner, but it's going to look like this, maybe with some visual changes over the years, I assume, like uh, Warzone did. They're going to change the UI and stuff to look like whatever game is identical. But unlike Warzone, I hope that they actually built this game out and this client and whatever to actually be fully expandable and like perfect to expand, right? So everything sort of is more seamless because uh, if you played Warzone back in the day, uh, you knew that was a problem. Like you knew that was kind of a problem with a lot of glitching and lagging and file size issues and all that sort of coming off as, hey... This game wasn't built to be longer than a year lifespan-wise. We have to shove in all the content. Uh, 
as well like the black ops cold war content looked different and functioned different because they essentially had the skins they had the models and the animations and all that and then they were like okay now you have to go ahead and redo this in an entirely different engine or not entirely different they're both having the same it tech 3 base but you know long story short same ish engine same like different back end it, apparently the new one and the one that Treyarch is using it was such a big difference that it was sort of entirely new similar thing with vanguard zombies actually Treyarch had to learn a new engine new features not all the same functions and features and all that were implemented because i mean zombies wasn't nearly as much of a staple within a infinity ward and sledgehammer games even though they were there anyways what is carry forward Simply refers to content currently available to players in Modern Warfare 2 and the current version of Call of Duty Warzone, which they were one they called 2.0, but at some point they changed it to Warzone. Such as weapons and cosmetic content, including bundles, operators. How much of it will be accessible? What will carry forward? Calling cards, emblems, uh, weapons and their skins, operators and their skins. You can see all these operators, right? And they're between the corner. Content previously described, or examples are shown, have been previously unlocked, or currently available cover carry forward the caveats because i assume they have to explain this one legally wise and two just for uh, understanding purposes a small amount of content may be unavailable if gameplay offerings are different in modern warfare 3 this makes sense right if you don't have a certain vehicle in the game you can't use it in mw3 i assume they're going to change some stuff around now here's the thing how much of that how much of that is actually going to change that's actually really concerning to me well, maybe not really but partially like if if the fact that they have to keep in mind that all this content needs to be able to transfer over, how much different can they make Modern Warfare 3? I would be concerned if it wasn't already the same base game with different mechanics, right? Like, they're teasing that there's going to be slide canceling, uh, red dots on the mini-map, uh, perks like Ninja, Sledgehammer's coming in and taking MW2, which is the super tactical whatever, and turning it into something that we like to call a bit more arcade -y. So it's going to be like the same mechanics and engine, but uh, more mobile, more fun. I do hope that slide canceling isn't just like the same as in MW 2019, where you can do it infinitely and break cameras. But, you know, they buffed sliding in the season five of MW 2 recently, and it was actually it's a bit better. It's more fun. All right. Frequently asked questions. Does it apply to Warzone? MW 2. Yes, because, I mean, if you played Warzone 1, right? Called air, whatever it's called, it's gonna get shut down a little bit, anyways. Same thing, right? Same thing, different day. Uh, all the con most, if not all, of the main content that you got in terms of weapons and operators were accessible in both games. They didn't look identical all the time because of engine differences or whatever, but I mean, yeah, you could unlock weapons from any game in Warzone and you could level them up in Warzone, or you could unlock them in the paid games, which is what they want you to do because it's easier. They also would give you a bonus for XP which they might do again this time, you know. So, content is additive. None of the previously described MW2 carry forward acquired in Warzone will be taken away. This is true. However, I do think it's worth noting that, you know, eventually you're not going to be able to use that content. See, I'm actually surprised that Activision ended up shutting down Warzone called Era so early because even Blackout is still up, and that game's been around for a lot, for several years longer, and has stopped getting content since, like, 2019, right? So, obviously, that's interesting. But I assume the servers which you expected to maintain are something that want to they won't get people to actually play Warzone 2, even though barely anybody played Warzone called Air anyways, or Warzone 1, I don't know what to call it, right? But just to let you guys know, like, hey, eventually this is going to happen, but I think the expected time frame is going to be around three years, which three years for that content, the content hasn't shut down. I mean, if you have the base game, you can still play them. But if you had Warzone 1 and spent all your money on stuff like Vanguard skins and you don't have Vanguard, you're kind of boned, buddy. Is MW2 and 3 content accessible in Warzone Mobile? It will include shared progression across MW2, Warzone 2, MW3 is one of its key features. We intend to make all this stuff accessible, integrating Battle Pass, Weapon, whatever. So Warzone Mobile hasn't come out yet, but I... Uh, in foreign countries, like, not foreign countries, a bunch of other countries, it's been available, they've been sort of delaying it, I feel like it was supposed to come out sometime this year, it's probably going to come out around the time MW3 uh, comes out. The interface and the weapons and operator skins, all that basically 
does share from MW2. It's on the same engine too, which is why it maybe I don't know if it'll run as good because like, you know, Warzone COD Mobile ran on Unity, optimized specifically for mobile engines. This is different, but I mean it's going to be integrated, so it'll be cool and all. And you get to play in for dance, which you probably won't be able to. Although people are te wondering, are certain parts of MW3 in Verdansk? Because they're like teasing the, the new Makarov Real trailer that came out today, that certain little snippets of like footage were potentially in Verdansk. So is Verdansk going to come back? I mean, for fans, they might like that, but uh, my guess is no, because there is basically another map built into the game called Las Almas. Right, like if you go to Ground War, uh, certain maps in Ground War, these are already out, uh, Los Alamos maps, same with certain multiplayer maps. And you can sort of look and look around and you can tell, wow, they basically built this whole world out and there's a leaked map. So unless things change, that's the next map. It's going to be a NW2 map, right? How does it work regarding any operators? All operators and skins will carry into NW3, including the PlayStation exclusive. So basically, if you bought MW2 already, or if you bought it and then bought MW3, all the stuff that you have from MW2 will carry over. And here's an example. Operator Nova skin can only be complaint unlocked after completing a campaign mission in MW2. So MW2, you have to unlock the character the same way. So if you buy MW2 and then buy MW3, everything that comes with MW2 as is when you buy it, you'll get it, right? But if you want the other stuff, you're gonna have to unlock it or buy it. MW3 only player won't be able to access this base operator unless she returns an MW3, which they might be teasing, I don't know. So you'll be able to get this skin, they might be able to get another one. Store bundle, release an MW3, would only be accessible in MW3, so it's the same thing, right? You There's no backporting. Um, now, I'm sure there's going to be some glitches or something like that, so you can backport, which people did do in um, Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer. With the Warzone, I mean the Cold War operators, I think they might have patched that out by Vanguard. What happens to MW2 operators who are no longer available? So basically, this is a Battle Pass skin. If you bought the Battle Pass, then you'll be able to get her, which I did because I love this character, Shafter Valeria. If you didn't buy the Battle Pass, you're not going to be able to get this character ever again, or they're probably going to release a bundle, because it did that before. But, like, let's say you buy a bundle, let's say MW2, there is a Valeria bundle somewhere, so let's say I go over here, go to Operators, uh, go to, how do I do this? Click on her, the Queen, right? Oh, the Queen. This skin is available on a bundle, right? Now, how do I see it? Hmm. I thought I was able to see my skins. Am I going to have to go to Warzone for that? Let's see, do I have to go to Warzone, Featured... This new menu is really annoying, honestly. Because you still have to wait and lag for loading and stuff. But let's say Rotation Resurgence. Okay, I guess I got rid of that? That's weird. There was a little icon in the right where you could pick your operator skin, but maybe they got rid of that. So you couldn't do the uh, thing where you can buy a skin. Or maybe it's just a skin that you have to buy. Let's see. Does Callisto have a skin that you can buy? Yeah, okay. Certain skins are already around. Click on this button. Here's a Callisto skin. Look at the bottom. All items in bundle will be usable in MW3. So, right, if you buy something from MW2, you'll most likely be able to use it in MW3, right? Anyways, back to the article. Um, Black Cell stuff. I mean, obviously, you didn't buy Black Cell, you're not going to get it. Store bundle skins, yes, right? And they're just more examples. Mm hmm. So, this will pop up in the store. It'll also pop up for MW3 players, probably, because sort of DLC pack, right, same thing, in their respective stores, and you could buy it, right, easy. But, as usual, when you buy a operator skin, when you buy a bundle skin, you're not going to get the uh, base skin, right, like stuff you get from the campaign. Okay, um, interesting thing, what happens to operators already exist in MW2 and 3, let's say price is two different, uh, price is going to be in both games, are they going to be two separate operators? No, they're just different skins. All weapons and blueprints will carry forward. Very cool. All and also, it's not just you have to buy MW2 to get them. You can unlock them in MW3 if you don't have, you never bought the old one. But you're gonna have to do a unlock challenge. Same thing with stuff like battle pass. Any blueprints, and you have to you can buy them as well. 
right? If you buy MW3, you can do it. You can get all the MW2 guns, but you're gonna have to unlock them, which will take longer. So base weapons, any base weapons unlocked. So you can obtain this gun only after playing DMZ during this thingamajig. If you do it, you'll be able to use an MW2 and three. This bundle, if you buy the bundle, you'll get this blueprint, but you can't customize the gun in MW2 and three. Do all attachments carry forward? Can I use MW2 attachments on three? All of them will be able to be used on M3 weapons, assuming they're attachable. So it seems like the gunsmith is going to be very similar with some exceptions. That's a very interesting point. Um, perks are going to be different, we know that, but the gunsmith is probably going to be identical. Which I personally don't mind. I like the gunsmith. It's five, there's not too many attachments. The tuning is interesting, a bit useful, although they've made it better. It's cool. MW2 player has an M4 with a Ryan camo. So you unlock a camo in MW2 for an MW2 gun. You can use it on that gun in MW3. You can't put it on the new one. Same thing with this challenge, whatever. If you get an MW3 camo for like mastery, like for example, these aren't going to carry over to MW3 for their guns. You can use them on the old guns and they'll have their own challenges that you can unlock. So all content is locked each game, but you can use it in both. You can use it in the new one, right? Is the M4 going to be the same in MW2 and 3? I don't know. It's been leaked. Some stuff. I know the ACR is coming back, but we don't know how to understand. Right? Is there a reason to purchase MW2? You could have your weapon fully leveled up and unlocked, ready for MW3 launch, right? So you can be the best player. I mean, my advice to you is, I mean, MW2 and 3, it's interesting. I'm kind of curious about this, actually. Uh, vehicle skins. War tracks won't. Wait, it says. Hold on. War tracks won't be able to use some. War tracks won't carry forward. That's interesting. Uh, my personal guess with that is licensing reasons. These war tracks are using copyrighted songs that they have to get a license for. I assume they the license says you can only use them in this game. And I guess MW3 now is considered a new game, so they'd have to redo the licensing agreement. But I'm fairly certain that the war tracks will remain in Warzone as they did in the old one. So there you go. All right. Uh, who cares about war tracks? I don't know. I get them sometimes from bundles. I mean, they're fun. I don't really. I always need them now. How do I know whether an MWC store bundle will be able to be used? I mean, you can see that right there. What happens if I purchase MW3 and then two? Will the content still be shared? It's all under one account. You'll you'll be fine. Um, and there's no carry back, so you can't use MW3 content in MW2. So that's a really long summary of a really simple feature. Obviously, they're hyping it up. I guess there are some caveats, but basically anything that shares any content that MW3 has that sort of the same thing as MW2, you'll be able to use both weapons with, right? Uh, otherwise, I mean, with the small exceptions of, like, let's say a vehicle doesn't exist in MW3 that didn't too, you're not going to be able to use any skins. But you can still use them in MW2, and you can still use them in Third and Warzone. Yeah, it's a lot, but I mean, it's pretty simple. It's going to be two and three. Carry back, it's a glorified DLC pack that they're treating as a new game, so obviously you'll be able to use it. The one thing I'm curious about is the maps, personally, because I don't know how the map thing is going to work. Because, like, we know that MW3 is going to have a bunch of MW2 maps, like the old ones in there, like Terminal and stuff. Will the MW, the new MW2 maps, be uh, available in this game? Or are you going to have to play separate ones? I don't know. I hope so, just for content-wise, because, I mean, if this is a glorified expansion pack, sure, but, like, having all those maps and having a lot to play with, that's going to be, like, the most content by the end of it. Although it ends up being two games, but if you can use everything in the same, in one game, then that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, that's it for the video. I mean, there's some teaser stuff. There's going to be a reveal event next week. I'm not going to be in town for it. I'll be on a plane, so I won't be able to watch it or play it myself, but, I mean, I get it, right, Mac, Rob, and all that. I don't think there's going to be that much new. Aside from like the some mechanics being a bit better, am I gonna get the game? Uh, probably. I wish it wasn't seventy dollars. I don't know if it's gonna be worth seventy dollars, but I mean, it's gonna be a zombies mode. It's gonna be like an outbreak style mode by Sledgehammer, which should be cool. Or Treyarch, I don't know who it is. Uh, new campaign, new multiplayer, whatever. It's Sledgehammer. And then we end up three, and they did a pretty decent job. So hopefully they can do that again because Vanguard was. Actually, I don't think Vanguard was that bad. It was just um, obviously really rushed because they had to quickly throw something out there. 
you know, like that 2019 past that, the 2020 cycle was a total mess for COD. Anyways, that's it for the video. Like and subscribe if you like for more content and stuff. I record videos for my radio show every so often and thoughts on games and things like that. A lot of Call of Duty stuff. Pre-scuff video. I mean, J-God's probably going to make one and it's going to get a billion views and I'm going to get like two. But hey, if you watched, thank you so much. You have a good rest of your day now. Bye.